house on wheels and it's gonna be a very short tour <laughs> so this is kind of our dining area slash my practice room so I just pop out this chair and it's just enough room here so um, when it's a dining area or workspace then this just pops up So I was trying to use as much of the original material as possible, but um, I did do a lot with removing um, this most of actually this whole section, this wall here. This was two benches and a much larger table, but we didn't really need that. We have another folding table for when we have other uh, guests. Some food in our pantry. Our pantry here. It's pretty packed, but there's still room. <laughs> yeah. Um, and this, this is all original. This whole section here, this kitchen area. The trailer and is from 1959. Yeah. It's, um, it's a been fan trailer. <laughs> and uh, it's been fun to to just be surrounded with all this cool wood. The floor here is a uh, cork floor. Lots of fur additions. <laughs> we just put it in and it's really soft and insulated and we hope that it'll be pretty durable. And all of this I couldn't have done without help from several people and particularly Michelle's dad <laughs> uh, helped out a lot with this. Um, the stove works. It's awesome. It's just run by propane. We have a couple of tanks on the outside of the trailer so there's a little Oven. Water system is a big 22 gallon tank that sits under the bed, which is now in its couch position. And that feeds along, you can see this is sort of unfinished. We had to hit the road before I could finish everything. Um, but I kind of, now I've kind of enjoyed having the water tube there because I can also see when there are bubbles if it's getting low. So that feeds into the, uh, into a little marine pump down here and that really produces one pump is incredible the amount of water it produces the outside there's an option of having a hose that feeds through so that goes into the left faucet here so we have the option there's no hot water so our hot water comes from uh, just boiling the kettle and mixing it with um, the rest of the water. I made that. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, this is what we do for the, I don't know if you can see, well, you can maybe hook the camera in there, I don't know. Um, so we just fill up this tin with uh, mostly cold water and then we... One kettle of but one kettle, yeah, and it was enough for both of us to have a turn at the shower. Yeah, so, it's nice and warm. Uh, plenty warm, it's just a little marine shower head pump there. Battery operated, yeah. so again, if we're not plugged yeah. in, we can still take a shower and it pumps the water up and you can hold it or set it on the wall and... And yeah. it's just a wet bathroom, so... Um, so that's all marine grade epoxy in there. There's just a drain in the bottom, so the water just drains out into a gray water tank. We're using a composting toilet, so it's a really simple setup. We won't get into it here because there are lots of videos about composting. <laughs> or seven. So this is as far as away as we can get from each other. So this is Michelle's little desk. Stuart went crazy with the copper pipes I that really he found at Home Depot. So. Well, we only we only needed two, and that took care of two long lengths of pipe and then uh, I thought well I have to use it and it's easy to work with and then this is a little chalkboard wall 
and uh, which we only got because Home Depot was out of the plywood that yeah. we wanted, yeah. and then we saw this. And and they're like, "Hey, you can use that in your desk area." <laughs> so, um, yeah, and I mean, as you can see, nothing is even. That was the hardest thing. So this is our couch, which fits probably five people, <laughs> at least two, and a big dog. We've never tried that though. We've only had the two of us in here. <laughs> um, <laughs> so this goes, the bed slides out uh, to here. I won't do it now. It takes a little time to do it. Um, and that pulls out to this uh, part. So this is also part of the bed support, but a shelf during the day. And this is just a four inch mattress that just flipped over. Everyone was saying you guys are never going to fit all your stuff in this. You're going to have to not take so many things that you want to take um but we don't have to leave anything we still have we still have room, yeah. <laughs> um, room lots to actually and we have this little um ac dc refrigerator so that when we're driving we can plug it into the car and keep things cool so this has worked pretty well for us and we're used to small fridge so so far it's yeah. been able to fit everything we wanted that's it <laughs> <laughs>